All right, guys, today's tool haul is up here. I paid $100 for all of this at an estate sale. Got some beautiful vintage new old stock USA made stuff. Craftsman, got some even snap on in here. Got more in that toolbox as well as down there. So let me bring it into the inside part of my shop as I'm out in the garage now and show you what I got. All right, so this is what I brought in so far. I think that's what I'm going to go through with you guys today. And then I'll cut it off there and do another video, a part two, because there's a lot of cool, unique stuff in here. And I want to spend some time taking a look at it. And I think it'll just be too long to go through it all. All right. So the first really unique item, and I've never seen something like this. So if you have or used this type of uh, snap ring pliers, or I wouldn't know, a snap ring screwdriver, let me know in the comment section. I couldn't find anything on, it, on eBay uh, when I did a quick search on it. Uh, none for sale so it makes me think that this is really super rare USA it obviously looks like a Western Forge handle but I don't think it could be Western Forge since it's um, you know a snap ring and maybe they made snap ring plays but who the heck knows the only thing I did see on a quick search is a garage journal and it, it came in a little pouch with some uh, tips that went in it but look how cool this is you just basically turn the handle and you could It'll be internal or external based on that. I just don't know the benefit of that. Maybe if you wanted to hold something open and not have to, you know, keep it in a certain spot. If you wanted to kind of set something, like set that snap ring as you lift it out, that could be possibly um, a use for it. And I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. I just thought that was just awesome. Then the next thing I saw when I was in this house is this sk screwdriver so i just snapped this up so quick and then when i got home i said oh no it's got a pretty good bend in it so we'll have to see what the date can do on that because i'm not sure how i would support this i know i'd obviously have to push it here but it's got an acetate handle i don't want to break and um I, you know i'll have to support it somehow so I'll be gentle with this. And then the next thing I did was shook the handle to see if it had the bits in it. And I was like, oh, no, it didn't. But look at this. It does. So the way SK did it, and I think this is a great design. It's tight as can be, too. They packaged it in a way that when the cap went on, everything was in there and it didn't rattle. Uh, so those are all the USA drill bits. This should clean up great. So... I'll probably put that on the press and show you in the next video. And that SK screwdriver looked great next to this one, the little bit driver that uh, Resto Rob gave me a while back. And I love that one. Been using it quite a bit. All right, next item up. And if you remember, I picked up a large one of these a while back. This is a standard size caulk gun, but this one is uh, really nice. And it is brand new, never used, made in England. Doesn't have a brand on it. But uh, it just is, re you can just tell the quality of this is fantastic. So, mind you, I paid $100 for everything you're going to see in both videos. And I just, I, this is just unbelievable deals. Next item up, we got some new old stock. And I, the reason I say that is they still have the barcode on it. And this one has, still has the glue on the back of it. So maybe it was slightly used. And these are Craftsman pipe wrenches. And I know about these because I picked up this one a while ago and I really like the grips on it. It's compact and I've used it a couple times and I actually could have used a bigger one. So getting this bigger one just was an absolute score. And this is the exact one um, that I had just with a different handle. But this handle is more of that uh, Western Forge traditional handle. And I got the bigger one. And these aren't cheap. These go for good money on eBay. And I got a pair of them. All right, next item added a train. I should have mentioned, hey, you know, my vessel of, you know, packaging up was a beautiful heavy-duty tray. So basically got that for free. Um, and then look at this. Snap-on. 208B USA. And that is, you know, a battery terminal pliers. And the teeth on it are just phenomenal. Very lightly used. Um, to clean up. Just got a little debris on that. That'll clean up as well. And uh, I can't imagine what they're getting for these. I would assume at least... 25 bucks maybe more uh, for a snap-on terminal plies in that condition and then the next item up 
I thought was just so unique. You may have seen some of the fancy Snap-on and Mac. They make these indexing head uh, ratcheting um, sock, uh, ratchets, I should say. And I always was fascinated by them. This is obviously a Stanley, probably made in Taiwan, a knockoff of an indexing head um, ratcheting ratchet. The difference with this one is the head only goes in certain positions. And I was curious about this, so I actually went on and saw if there was any videos out there. And it's always great when you see a subscriber. So Tool Wild Attic Dylan did a video on this a while back. And, you know, it's a pretty cool little novelty ratchet. And I will add it to the collection. Then I came across this, and I was just so stoked for it. This is a small channel locks this is a 426 i don't have one that's small like this um the other thing i really like about this is it's not just laser etched that is imprinted and look at the patent on the back canada 1953 so it makes me think that this is probably from the late 50s 60s and it is in great shape look at the handles on it look at the teeth on it that is something i am super proud to own and put in the toolbox and then look at these. These are Craftsman Professional Snap Ring Pliers. And I'd never seen this type before. At first, I thought it was the same as these, which I've had. And you guys have seen me use these. And I just love these. Um, these are rebranded Lang from Channel Ox. And these are awesome. And I thought that's what these were. But they're not. Um, they're slightly different. And they're actually not as good. They're a little bit more cumbersome in the hand they just don't fit as nice in the hand they open up too wide in my opinion the spring is kind of cockeyed a little bit by design and to use it it's a little bit tricky you gotta to make it an internal and an external you gotta depress it and you almost gotta take something press it all the way through and then push the other one through the other way i've done this trust me because <laughs> I was trying to figure it out. There you go. And that's how you switch it. It's not super simple like on these channel locks where you just flip it. But I bet you they're getting really good money for these as craftsman professionals go for premium dollars on eBay. So I'll probably keep it and stick it in the craftsman toolbox with all my other USA craftsman stuff. All right. Look at this. Have you ever seen such a wrench? This is a Mac half inch. So the half inch is down there. And look at this thing. I'm going to have to adjust the camera. Just so it's long as could be. It's got to be close to 18 inches. And is that a specialty wrench or what? That is super neat. Look at all the bends in that. Never seen nothing like this one before. And it's got really great knurling on it. I mean, this thing, I don't know, was maybe bought once and used for one project for that specialty wrench. So if there's any Mac guys out there, you probably know what that is. I'm sure, you know, not just Mac, but what that wrench is for. And then whenever you grab these, look how beautiful, you know, USA made channel locks, love those. And then these, if you remember, I picked up a while ago in, in Jacktown, I picked up a bunch of these for a couple bucks, but I bought the Craftsman variety of what they call the laminated pliers. And the reason they're laminated is they just kind of laminated the metal together. And these are kind of cool. These are Crescent. They're made in the USA. And my guess is they probably were made by the same company that made these for Craftsman at the time. They're definitely not as beefy. They're a little thinner. Maybe that's good. Um, I don't have a particular channel lock style like this. I had the needle nose and some pliers. But the, these were definitely better made. They're heavier. The grips are better on them. Uh, but, you know, I didn't kind of neat little novelty usa made crescent laminated pliers more snap ring pliers and you guys know i love snap ring pliers you know you guys know my i grew up in a transmission shop and i was always popping breaking down trainees popping snap rings or something always had a snap ring and these are just really beefy heavy duty craftsmen um and you know the only they're nice uh, they got great handles on them and I think that's it for all the snap ring pliers, at least in here. So while we're on snap ring pliers, if you remember, I recently picked up these. These were my SK um, that I bought, and I got a nice all-encompassing set, and it came out great. Look how that blow-molded case came out. Fantastic, right? But you know what? 
I overdid it and I wiped out the SK logo on the top of it. So got to be careful when you're cleaning those blow molded cases when they have a sticker on it. But except for that, these things cleaned up and they're probably rebranded Lang, but they are beautiful SK and will go in the SK locker. Look at these here. These are just gorgeous USA made craftsman files. Looks like somebody was doing a little bit of wood filing on them. That'll clean up as that'll do no harm. And a nice triangular type file as well. And that was a WF Slim USA. Beautiful files. And John Fix would absolutely love this one. Look at this diamond. 12 inch this is a nice size really well made chrome plated feeling you know it's just in great condition and that thing is ready to go with just minimal cleanup I told you i was going to need two parts for this one and this stuff is just keeps getting more interesting in my opinion look at this little bottle opener how cool is that mac so it looks like a mac dealer was giving these out at one point. I don't know if it was missing something maybe here on the end, but this I would love to clean up and put back in service and crack a few cold ones with the Mac bottle opener. And then here, Blue Point. Look how nice this is. Nice little reamer in great condition. Super sharp down there. I mean, this is just good quality stuff I came across. This guy owned good tools, quality tools. And, um, you know, he kept them in good condition. And you'll see tomorrow I got a lot more, or in the next video, some, uh, I'll be making the video to, um, for me tomorrow. Uh, a lot of new old stock. Look at these beauties. I mean, this is a big Stanley. I mean, that thing measures, whew, over 12 inches, probably closer to 14 inches. That is a Stanley 100 flathead, and that is just a gorgeous old vintage stanley so i just assumed that this was a stanley right there's a nice cabinet screwdriver but look at this actually made uh stanley made it for blackhawk i think they own blackhawk right proto and all of that was stanley at some point or probably is now still as well look at these are they beautiful or what got some cold chisels here got some nice punches all craftsman usa made and look at these things i mean that's never even been hit on um, so if they, some of these were used, they were used very, very lightly. So that's a score. And then I always needed a left-handed tin snip. I have the green one that's for the right. I have a ton of the yellow ones for the straight. I do not have a left-handed red one. And uh, that's in great shape. Wiss made in the USA. And more importantly, it actually has a holster. So if I'm ever doing anything where I'm going to be using the snips a lot, I could throw that on the belt and it'll hold, I'm sure, uh, any of the styles. All right. And this is another one of my favorite items I got here. Look at this one. This is a Craftsman hose shut off clamp, right? So if you got to shut those uh, the hoses down, look at that clamps on there. And these are not cheap. These are going for really good money on eBay. And um, that'll be a great addition to the collection is that beautiful or what wow i'm sure whoever was making these for craftsmen at the time is still making these but probably making them uh, for the tool trucks and it is just a really well made item i mean these are literally brand new i i don't think they were ever used i mean what a score okay so got a few more items in the tray here and then i'll take it to the other stuff i have around the outside of it um, some proto really nice little pliers these are small ones probably measure about four inches they nice with the grooves there and then this is oh yeah just a standard oh no this is a craftsman little uh chrome plated made in the usa pliers as well actually feels pretty nice got a battery terminal little wrench here castar made in the usa little reversible battery terminal wrench always comes in handy and then spinners i got a three really nice spinners and you know i love spinners i have a great collection of spinners and these are heavy duty craftsmen um, they could be used as an extension or as a spinner and as if you could see in here this goes all the way through you see that 
This isn't the one which just has the cap pushed in and this goes all the way through and they are super heavy duty and these are just great to have when you pick up those blow molded cases and they're missing. Got two of them in there. That's, and these aren't cheap. These go for 15, 20 bucks all day long. Maybe more for that uh, in that model. And then here is, oh, it's got a, and just a little extension on it. And these are great, these little spinners with the flexible pieces on it. These actually could come in handy. I know years ago, they used to call these like carburetor um, adjustment type extensions. And then this one's built into the spinner here. And another specialty wrench. Look at this little brake adjustment tool, but snap on. 3 8 5 16 can't beat that. I got a bunch of these and a lot of other brands. So this is probably one I would definitely be willing to part with and sell and get some of my money back. As you guys know, I'm not a super Snap-on fanboy. I love Snap-on, the quality and stuff, but there's plenty of other stuff as well. All right, look at this nice torpedo level made in the USA. Stanley. And you'll never find it. I thought this was a, I got faked out on this one. I thought it was a professional series screwdriver, but it's just a knockoff. And then I got a knockoff little, looks like a little ratcheting bit. I think there's some bits in here as well. Just a little knockoff mini screwdriver. All right, so let me show you some of the stuff I got back here. First item up is some three-in-one oil i mean look at this brand new still sealed filled to the rim got two of them with these telescopic lenses or lens i call them uh tubes and then this one this one looks like it may have been open but this is really neat i mean, i don't like these too much they leak a lot i really like the older style which are the metal cans as you can see here i've been refilling these popping the tops off scoutcraft told me about that these just get deliver a perfect drop so I usually use these to refill those, but I think this one is a cool little design as it's got, you know, won't knock over as easy as well. So three of those. I mean, what are they getting for those these days? Five, six bucks a pop, easy. And then look at this, brand new, still in the package. I don't know if this thing's any good or not. It's an electronic engraving tool, brand new in the package. Uh, made, I don't know if it's made in the USA, probably not. But it's definitely older Craftsman, probably from 20, 30 years ago. If anybody's ever used one of these and you think it works halfway decent, let me know. Another brand new item from a place called, oh no, this is just General Tool. Um, and I, I don't know if this is the same as the General Tool that used to be in Hicksville in Long Island uh, years and years ago. But this is a brand new, it's not super old because it's got a barcode and it's got a security device on it but it's made in Switzerland. How cool is that? And that's, you know, a, a dial caliper with that's not digital. So sometimes those come in handy as well. And I just love new old stock. All right, here is a Benzomatic torch. Now it worked because I tried it, but what happened was I left it on. I probably didn't screw it all the way down and it leaked out. But this is one of those nice ones that you could just, you know, turn it on, light it. You don't have to worry about you know, shooting a spark and it's an automatic ignite. Now, my guess is this is probably an older one or a cheaper one because the one I currently have is this and it's a beauty. And this, you know, has a little bit of a, um, you know, heavier feel to it and better quality made to it. And these aren't cheap. I think these go for like 35 bucks. But what I like about this one, because I was playing with it, is it's straight and it could have its place in the shop. But I do that quite a bit where I don't tie, turn things off all the way. That's why I always take it off when I'm done and I never just leave it. I lost too many cans over the years where I left them on and they leaked out. And probably the most useful tool in the shop is this Q-tips. Now, I really like the container. I currently use like an old medication prescription vial that I take a handful, throw it in there, but this will be great. Um, not overly concerned that they're, you know, not sterile or anything because I'll just be cleaning and it's a nice little container. So I grabbed that when I saw that in the guy's basement. And then I got a bunch of these saws back here. So let me show you them. So I don't know much about saws, not much of a woodworker, but this one looks like it's a nice small one. Stanley bought at Home Depot at some point. Made in the USA, I believe. Yep, USA. And um, 
you know, this one's called a shortcut, and it's got, uh, I don't know if I want to cut my hand yet, pulling this thing off, because get a shock bite and it's got a little bit of rust on it but the blade on it definitely feels good and this will come i'll keep because you know i just need to knock a little dowel down or something and don't want to fire up the saw um so i am threw that into the bundle these i thought might have some money invested in because they had this nice blade guard on them and they're craftsmen usa made but i don't think they're getting a lot for these this is a full size saw as you can see here let me give you a little look at it. I mean, it's a full size. I love the handle on it. Um, and then the one behind it actually is in better shape. You can read the blade there. And I love the dark wood on this one. So if I, I might end up trying to sell one of these. If I can get 10, 15 bucks for it, I'd let it go. Maybe I'll list it on Marketplace or something like that because they're big and hard to ship. All right, then I got a brand new angle grinder. This is a Talon. I never heard of that brand. It's probably some sort of knockoff or maybe they sell it at the auto parts stores. It's made in Taiwan. Oh, this one was sold in Odd Job, which was like a closeout store for 20 bucks. God knows how long ago. But the reason I bought this one, and I have some good quality grinders. This is, oh, everything's still new in the package here. This is a four inch. And sometimes it's just that smaller size, especially when you're restoring those tools and you're trying to get in on a on you know a spot i've learned that it's so it you know i get stuck sometimes with the bigger flap disc so i'm gonna get some smaller size flap disc for this and i'm thinking it might give me you know it might be just the right tool for when i'm doing tool restorations on those smaller projects looks like it just has a switch on it yep got a switch on the side here and brand new made in taiwan angle grinder all right one last look at everything here let me know what you thought was your favorite items i know i had a bunch in this video that were my favorite i have to say if i had to pick the one hmm, might have to say that hose clamping pliers just because i don't have it although i really am enamored by this here uh, which is the snap ring screwdriver so let me know what you think, like and subscribe, and I will have part two coming out relatively shortly with a lot of other great scores, so I think I definitely got my money's worth.